Hello and welcome back. If you saw my other tutorials, we're talking about polynomial functions. And this is a continuation of this discussion of polynomials. Um, specifically, we're going to be talking about um, how to write a polynomial function. To write, oops, write a polynomial. All right, write a polynomial no equation or function. Now, to do so, Okay, we're going to be given some zeros. And many problems we'll ask you is to um, give in some zeros, and this is like problem number 56 that I assigned to my class for homework, where they give you two problems, 2 and 4 plus the square root of 5, and then 4 minus the square root of 5. Okay, and there is some easier ones um, that I'll, I'll tell you. Let's say we have polynomial of, it has zeros, these are zeros, and I'll do another one, an easier one. All right. Given zeros that are x equaling um, negative 2, 4, and 7. Okay. Well, we'll do the easy one first. Given a polynomial, if you don't know, the linearization factorization theorem. The linearization, can't say that word. Linearization factorization theorem. Wow, that's a mouthful. Okay. States that when you have a polynomial, all right. The degree equals the number of total number of zero. It also states that all the zeros can be written as the product of linear factors. So what that entails is that if these are zeros, I can write all these zeros and create a polynomial simply by writing all right, the factors of these zeros, linear factors. So the first one would be, well, x minus negative 2 all right, is one product or one linear factor. Another one would be x minus 4. You always take x minus whatever the 0 is. Because when you plug in that 0, you should get 0 for your linear factor. Then we have x minus 7, and that would be our other 0. We can simplify this, and we have x plus 2 times x minus 4. And you could foil this through and create a cubic function. So this is a third degree polynomial all right, that we have just created using these three zeros. So that's the polynomial of a third degree. Now, you have more complex problems where the zeros are not um, really, are not always rational, and where you have a 2, and then you have this 4 plus the square root of 5, and then 4 minus the square root of 5, which are a conjugate pair of irrational values. So when we have this, we have y equals, we're going to do the same thing. We have, once again, two, three zeros, so we're going to have a cubic function. So we're going to have x minus 2. And now I'm going to have x minus the quantity, 4 plus the square root of 5. And then we have um, x minus the quantity, 4 minus the square root of 5 as well. Okay. From here, normally this would be an equation, but for those that um, do not like 4 plus the square root of 5 in there, I'm going to actually simplify this to make it into a quadratic. And to do so, we're going to foil this through. And I'm going to take the firsties, which are x squared. And then we're going to take our middle terms, and we're going to have the opposite of 4 all right, plus, and actually I'll distribute that, I don't know, we'll keep it like that. 4 plus the square root of 5, and we'll have times x, and then we'll have minus 4 uh, minus the square root of 5 times x, and then our lasties, which are going to be um, we'll apply this function for our last terms, so we know it's that function times this function, what we have right here is going to be negative times a negative, because they're both negative, which turns into positive. And we're going to have 4 plus the square root of 5 times 4 minus the square root of 5. Just going to have a problem. All right, so we're going to simplify this. And to do so, we're going to have to add these two expressions together. So add our common like terms, which have both have the x values. When we do that, we're going to have negative. And we're going to add our real numbers, so 4 plus 4, which gives us 8. Our conjugates, irrational conjugates, the square root of 5 and negative square root of 5 cancel out. And so we have negative 8 times then our x, because that is, um, we're just adding our coefficients together. Okay? Just like if you would have 3x um, plus 7x, you add the coefficient together, you get your answer. Okay? And so we have negative 8x. Our last one we're going to do is we're going to foil this, because they are... Um, an expression, all right, of two irrational numbers. And so we're going to take 4 times 4, which can give us 16. 
your conjugates are going to cancel out. All right. So 4 square root of 5 and negative 4 square root of 5 will cancel out. And then we're going to take negative square root of 5 times positive square root of 5, which is going to give us negative 5. When we simplify this expression, we'll have um, 11 plus negative 8x. And we'll have x squared. And don't forget our little x minus 2 that we just have coming along for the ride. And if you want to, you could solve this and multiply it through. Again, um, getting a cubic expression, but we'll leave it in factor form. And that will be your solution. So, given zeros, um, you can create any polynomial of any degree um, just by either rearranging or just creating a product of linear factors of the zeros that are given. Hope this helps you out on how to um, write equations of polynomials given the zeros. Right. Good luck and God bless.